Hey guys, welcome to this conic section completing the square video. Andy math. So they want us to use completing the square to write each equation in standard form. So first thing you want to do is separate the x's and the y's. So it's going to be 2x squared minus 12x. Then we'll have a minus y. And I like to bring the number over to the other side. Since the y doesn't have a squared value, we don't have to worry about completing the square with this. So this guy's done for now. Whenever you want to complete the square, you want to factor out the leading coefficient. So we're going to pull the 2 out. So we're going to have 2x squared minus 6x. Because when you pull a 2 out, the 12 turns into a 6. And I'm going to say plus space. Because we're going to use that in a minute for completing the square. And that's all going to be equal to negative 22 plus space. But since this space right here is going to be multiplied by 2, we also need to multiply this space by 2. So I'm going to put a 2 right here times whatever we put in the space. Now to find out what you put in the space, you divide this middle number by 2. So we get negative 3. And then you square it. So you get 9. And you're also going to put a 9 here. You have to balance both sides of it. Then the reason I wrote the negative 3 down here is because that is actually what our perfect square is built on. The negative 3 gives us the negative 6, and it gives us the 9. Your 2 is brought down. We can bring down the negative y, and then we can just do negative 22 plus 18. Negative 22 plus 18 is negative 4. This side is 2x minus 3 squared minus y. Since there's no squared value, what we want to do is get the y by itself. So we're going to add y to both sides, and we can get this 4 over to the other side as well. So these y's cancel. We're left with 2x minus 3 squared plus 4, we still have the plus 4, equals these cancel, and we're left with just y. We can put the y in front if we want, and now we have the answer to our question. y equals 2x minus 3 squared plus 4. This happens to be vertex form of an equation of a parabola that's pointed upwards, that's twice as tall, and has a vertex at 3 comma 4. Hope this makes sense. Please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for more of these. I have one for circles, parabolas, hyperbolas, and ellipses. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.